Classical era ends in eight turns, that's fine. Mario and Luigi is still Emma. bashing this city to bits, look at that. One attack, two attacks, it's mine. Feudalism boosted, keep city, it's loyal. Katassi is now loyal as well. Oh, this, this war has actually gone quite well. I don't know what's going on in this city, but maybe barbarians are attacking it, but it's losing a lot of health per turn. Quite amusing, my questing knights have actually got an, an option here to just run through, try and uh, destroy the city as fast as I can. Mario and Luigi taking some damage, I'll pull them into the city, keep it nice and safe. A governor is available, I'm going to start fleshing out my empire now a little bit, I'm popping different governors down, we're just about to finish the audience chamber, in fact actually, we have finished the audience chamber. So the more governors I have, the more amenities I'll have throughout my empire it's looking good victor will keep that city very safe spreading out seven governors as fast as we can oh great library i would actually get a few v uh, boosts here um petra is kind of the mean one i wanted to get in that city though I need to try and rush that one okay well my capital it's just building settlers it's doing it very well in its defense the second giant beanstalk garden gets placed oh these yields already are looking pretty good six turns to get this one down my capital's gonna have time to no, I need a little bit more population in my capital, although I could do that. If I got a bit more gold, I could chop out 10 pop and pop a preserve down, maybe. I did say I wasn't going to bother in my capital, though. So I believe it's city number seven up in the north. Oh, I think I've run out of city names already. <laughs> Never mind. No palace on this one. No palace on this one. Okay, so it's good. No, we haven't got a palace on every single city. Oh, look at that. I think that is a plus seven. Yeah, plus seven campuses. There's actually one up here as well. Plus five. Some really good campuses on this map. Geothermal fissures have been very kind to me. This is a five population city with professional sports. Oh yeah, look at that. I had districts here. It's an encampment, but more importantly, an entertainment complex, which works really well because it gives me a bonus immunity for being in a golden age. So I've taken three cities from Georgia now. I don't think they're going to be able to hold on to the rest of these cities. My loyalty is pretty nice. To say that my army has run out of steam would be an understatement, so I'm tempted now to offer peace. Yeah, for a little bit of iron, we can do it. I'll take the cities. There you go. You see, I've, I, I own the center of your empire now. What are you going to do? My third giant beanstalk. There you go. Oh, some good yields. Some good yields starting to appear now. There's city number... Will this be number nine now? Shy guy turn. You see, look, there are some names here still. Strange. I'm not entirely sure how it decides what's a name and what isn't, but we'll, uh, we'll just take it. Well, now that we have a little bit of peace, it's all about planning for what we're going to do expanding my empire. As you can see, we've got nine cities now looking in a really decent position. I've got my three preserves that hopefully, as long as it's all working properly, we should start to see them starting to really grow in two turns. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen. I just spend a few turns on infrastructure. My settlers, well, this settler, I think I'm going to actually beeline towards Vesuvius. Where was it? Over there. Oh, minus 20 loyalty. That would be a terrible place to go and settle that's my only problem we could probably settle on a luxury maybe that's the thing we've got jade haven't got jade so we can go and settle down there okay that'll help if in doubt something that makes my nation happy that's going to be the most important thing let's see what happens here so another golden age which is good and you can see oh yeah look at that so woods were put artificially on all of the tiles around the beanstalk the beanstalk's got taller oh i love that and the range of it has gone up one including the city center which apparently counts as uh, an unworked tile oh i love this already oh yes so actually the earlier we get these things down oh the better they're going to be by a long way okay monumentality we're going to follow up with that 71 culture per turn now that was about 20 extra culture that gave me there and we want a beeline up the top of the tree to go straight to conservation and sanctuaries do sanctuaries apply to I, you know what? i actually don't know if the sanctuary will apply how's it worded bonus yields are extended i think it might just be those base yields that are extended i might be wrong i would be very happy to be wrong but i do unfortunately don't think I am. So holy sites and my preserves are both giving me plus one immunity but having nine cities has definitely sat on my happiness a little bit here. Colosseum is available and there's a couple of places that actually Colosseum would work nicely like on this desert tile. So I think if Petra's there I might as well then stick the entertainment complex tile on this one maybe. It's still in range of everything there. Yeah let's do that. I think we're going to end up picking a bunch of Georgian cities up which is quite fun. Voting down on tobacco because I haven't seen it on the map yet and let's use 
faith to get units. No, did we do that? Or gold? Gold. Gold I like. Gold is cheap. Well, one third. No tobacco. Uh, production. You know what? Production's fine, but that works okay. Surf temp. Good. Now we can get fire six charge builders because I've got pyramids. Military emergency. No, 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 no. We'll vote four times down on that one. AI might. Oh, they tried to. Oh, Bowser and Georgia. What a team that would have been, but alas, it failed. We don't mind seeing that at all. Now we're converting all of these cities. If we can just knock the religion off Georgia, we haven't got to worry about this terrible fake religion hitting me at any point. 10 population, civil service boosted. Excellent. Let's get this set up now. Entertainment complex done. And we'll work the Colosseum afterwards. Oh, there's something so satisfying about six charge builders. Yes. Okay. My plan is basically just to convert as much of this space as I can to beautiful, beautiful, Beautiful preserve fields. It's going to be. This is brilliant. I, the combination of having a unique building on this preserve is is really fun. They can extend to three tiles around. So weirdly, I actually have to look at putting preserves down almost kind of in the same way as you might put down like a city, seven tiles away, something like that. I haven't really. I kind of packed them in on this location, but I need to start spreading them out a little bit. The real balancing act is between settling and staying happy. This is the thing. If my cities are happy, they get plus one appeal. That's big. Means all of these tiles are a little bit more yieldy, to put it another way. But if I keep settling, I can get my preserves down quick. Do I want long-term benefit or short-term benefit? If I don't settle out, the cities I've got now will do a lot better. I've only got six luxuries though. Maybe if I if I just force myself to settle near luxuries I haven't got, like oh there's jade and amber down here, then it kind of makes sense. I feel like a monarchy works particularly well with somebody with a crown. Just saying, and uh, I can get alliances now as well. Portugal will always take an economic li uh, alliance and I think Macedon doesn't know what an alliance is. Those teeth, they've blinded him to the actual sort of civic development. He's been at the dentist too long. I always like doing this. It always feels a little bit pointless, but I'm building a galley in a small lake. I mean, technically it's a sea. It's worth two era score, but I also just got another envoy with Taruga stealing it back. I'm doing my best to pick up all of the envoy quests that I can. It actually gave me another luxury. Taruga has, has something I haven't got. I like it. Just pouring. Absolutely pouring over the luxury map. Where can I settle? Where would be good? Oh no! Mario and Luigi are being attacked and killed. Quick, hop away. Gally, you're needed on an important quest. Go over here. Brilliant. Now return. Your life's mission. It's a difficult one, but it is one I need you to embrace fully. And one more city. Again, not very good for happiness, but I can get some jade. And jade is always a fun thing to get. Oh, I could get Sinbad. I, I feel Sinbad would be very helpful on this map. Actually, there is a little bit of sea, to be fair. Ah, uh, that would be rather entertaining. Well, as I pick up mercenaries, I can now change to a monarchy, which is lovely. I always need Republican legacy, and that's going to be a very important one for me. We've got campuses are fine. Serfdom's okay. I think I'll take scripture, seeing as I'm getting such value out of faith at the moment. Oh, it's not much, is it? I'll stick with science. Nope, scrap back. Gothic architecture. I'm about to put a lot of wonders up. It's going to be very helpful. Defensive buildings. Anything that gives me iron. Iron is a good thing right now. Charismatic leader. I have quite a few city-states that I have envoys with now. It's literally just the one I haven't, so I might as well just get more envoys and I get 50% extra speed as well, which is good. Oh, my capital has got its entertainment complex. Wonderful. Here's some amber, another luxury, and here is some jade, another luxury. Oh, if we can get ecstatic again, that'll be so good. Yeah, as soon as I chop out Colosseum, I feel like that's going to make a huge difference for me. Georgia's got a settler that <laughs> trying desperately to sort of move away from my missionary, but I'm escorting them. It's like a parent with a packed lunch chasing the child out the door. Like, don't don't forget your religion. Don't worry. I'll, I'll pull up at the school gates and give it to you. Don't worry. Oh, now I've been denounced. What did I do to deserve that? Honestly. Oh, yes. Maybe the intense amounts of grievances. This is turn 100, by the way. Not much tourism, but we've almost got 100 culture and we've got way over 100 gold and 100 faith. 100 by 100. Is it really the best way of uh, judging these sort of things? No, it absolutely isn't, but it's uh, it's relatively good. But most importantly, now we have a nine turn Colosseum on the way. I'm going to put two cities down. One, two, because then that'll mean I've got one, two, three, four, five, six in range of a Colosseum. I I think that'll be a pretty decent one. Oops, that, um, that, that may have happened again. <laughs> 
Oh no. Oh, Auckland has just found me Umbasar Hollow, which gives me the opportunity to get Mulan, but also another relic. It's four of them now. Do I really regret not going relic careers? Yes. Yes, I do. What was the hollow? Oh, directly north. Okay, these are good to know because I actually really do want to settle next to a luxury, a natural wonder at some point. That would be quite handy for me. There is literally nothing left for me to chop in my capital. So Magnus is going to move on. I'm going to put Pingala into the city now. I think that's the best thing to do. Yeah, take a couple of turns of science off me, but that's not a problem. Where do I want to spawn settlers now? I think probably to my north and spread up that way. Or do I want to probably want to stick to this area of the map, don't I? Let's go to Shy Guy Town. What a name. What, a, what brilliant names for cities. Wonderful. I'm having to remember which tiles I improved because there's a farm on this tile that actually is losing me yield. So I need to take that off. Just gonna sacrifice Arthur there. There we go, get a relic. I like relics. More faith. More faith is always good. It looks like it's another city, but it's also got hanging gardens. I'll take it. Oh, and a holy site as well. They seem like a random choice for a city, but as I say, it's in Colosseum range. And plus, I get era score. Flower Town. Oh, some of these are lovely names. There is guilds making our way to humanism now very quickly, which is delightful stuff. Anything that gives me happiness, anything that gives me culture, all of this is good. This feels like one of those games where every rainforest that I own is being systematically burned down. I feel terrible. Birdo Town? Oh no. I remember Birdo. Birdo was terrifying from memory. It's like a dinosaur that spat eggs at you, right? I'm pretty, pretty sure that's what Birdo was. <laughs> Let's get Connoisseur with Pingala. That means we go from 104 culture to 119. Lovely. We are boosting our way to civil engineering as quickly as we can. I really, really want to see what these royal gardeners do. They should be fascinating. Just like literally, that's the only thing this mod had to do to really get my attention. Unique naturalist. That's such a cool idea. Why did the game never do that? Why did none of the sieves have any unique preserve district? Why did none of them ever have a unique rock band? Or, you know, a unique naturalist or any of these sort of weird late game things? Like, I just, I feel like it was such a missed opportunity. Why do I still insist on chopping down every rainforest in my empire? These are all questions, but one day, one day we'll figure the answer out too. Tribal village. Recon unit. Ooh. Ooh, a skirmisher as well. I haven't really done a huge amount of fighting this particular game, but I'm tempted. I'm always tempted. Oh, hang on, look. Mario and Luigi, they have got more melee strength. Oh, that's... Okay, fine. That's awesome. They're not very strong, 43 strength, but useful to know that that is possible to get them. I am... Hmm. This culture victory proves too difficult. I know exactly where my armies are going, and they are absolutely going towards you, Grumpy Peach. I mean, Bowser's grumpy as well, but Bowser's an iron fist ruler and is always grumpy. In Gazagamu, I want you back. And Candy. Candy actually gives you more faith for owning relics, which is always the bit that people forget about, but it's a very handy ability, that one. Is everyone ready for a little bit of fun? It's the Colosseum. Huzzah! I, I, we're playing a Mario character, so I like to think that this is more a sort of Super Smash Brothers arena or some sort of multiplayer level that everyone's coming in to basically make their toads fight to the brutal death. Actually, you know what? Toad gladiator fight. Oh my lord. Did anyone ever play? Oh, I can't remember the name of it. There was an old game and this is really stretching back probably about 15 years ago where you used to alternate between playing a gladiator and then someone you used to sneak around with and they were like an upper nobility of Rome and it was like a duel game. It was really, really cool. Anyway, my point being we should make toads fight in Colosseums. That's my point. I'm sure everyone can agree with that as a as a brilliant way to spend an afternoon. Where, where, where was I? <laughs> what am I doing? I, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, what's going on? Medieval Fairs is done though. Humanism time. We can human can we change that can can the mod change humanism just the word to toadism it's, it would be it would be much more relevant anyway to remind people this is the radius of the Colosseum. so i have seven city centers that's not bad is it that's really not bad every city that is ecstatic now gets a little bit more appeal oh look at this high appeal we are converting the land by removing all rainforest biodiversity no not in the mushroom kingdom it shall all be trees and mushrooms. Sort of makes weird sense really when you think about it, doesn't it? Pingala can now get Researcher. Is that going to tip me above 100 science per turn? Probably not. Oh, did you see that briefly? Hang on. 99.8. 
Oh, I love it. One of my conquered cities, I've just been casually building mausoleum for a while. And it worked. Science, faith, culture from all coastals in the city, which, I'll be honest, on this map is next to nothing but an engineer uh, charge, extra engineer charge. All engineers have an extra charge. That's all you need to know. If an engineer was a battery, you'd be able to use it twice. Not even sure that analogy even works, but um, just have to take my word for it that it does. Cities are really begrudgingly becoming happy now. I say begrudgingly. I, I don't think there's anything truly begrudging about this, but staticness is growing and growing and growing and growing. I'm doing my absolute best to not expand any faster than I need to, just to really work on this one. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Got another beanstalk. Becoming rather beany, and I've saved all of my faith up to buy Bisheng. Now, this lets my capital get another two districts now, which is wonderful. And Imhotep, I can pick up shortly after, will help me to get a bunch of wonders, because there are lots of early game wonders still in this game, and I could use a few of them. Bisheng, ta-da! Printing boosted, but more importantly, my capital can do stuff now. More stuff. Feel like an industrial zone. We're really just solidifying this little industrial base near my capital now. Oh, this is about to be a turn. I've got one, two, three preserves all finishing next turn. Ho, 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 ho. I love it. You love to see it. Any preserve game, I find, I find so much fun. This isn't even the best bit of it just yet. Oh, barbs are appearing everywhere now, which is a bit annoying. We'll have to just ignore them for a little bit. I really want the letter on side but the letter peach peach has a stranglehold yes she knows how to pray those toads away most important thing is to get these giant beanstalks done as soon as possible actually out of all of these cities that one is nine turns that one is 16 but has some chops and this one is six turns. okay right you know what I'm going to purchase that i'm going to purchase this one and then this city can grow actually you know the ancient walls and then we'll, we'll buy it in i'm just buying beanstalks it's all i'm doing my money at the moment. Oh, the barbs are suddenly very strong down to my south. Oh, that's not very fun. I'm building the walls. That's okay. And I think next turn I can get Grandmaster's Chapel in and buy myself some faith defense, which is a lovely little improvement into my nation. Faith defense. Mmm, that's right. Pray the barbs away. I think that's what they say. Oh, the AI is just stealing all of my city states today. It's not on. Not on. Okay, right. Barbs. Barbs are becoming a problem. Less of a problem, however, is the introduction of Petra into my desert city. I so rarely build these, but when you see a city with this much desert, it, especially Desert Hill, you kind of begin to get a little bit greedy, and I actually hard built that out, which was quite fun. With a the theatre square, we just got a bunch of era score. Oh, yes, look at this city. Already, some of those Petra tiles are being improved by the beanstalks. Those will just keep getting better and better and better. Or oh, plus six theatre square of its own. Don't mind if I do. Plus, mercantilism can get boosted by the introduction of this delightful little merchant. So, I'm going to pick up, get me a few tiles and a bit more gold back. Beautiful beautiful stuff. Pray in. What are we going to pray in? I mean, you know what? I'm actually going to try and level up a skirmisher. I'm going to get some recon units. I want to see if I can get amber. I'm, I'm addicted to trying to get an ambush now. Ambush scouts are the most fun. They're, they're wonderful, wonderful things. There's mercantilism. Four turns now until civil engineering. Get some gardeners down. The tiles look so sort of empty and bland. Oh, that's my... Remember I said I wanted to level up a skirmisher? Yeah, they're dead. That lasted, uh, <laughs> lasted well. But yeah, a lot of these tiles look so barren and empty, but you just need to let the era roll over and woods will grow automatically onto those tiles, which is quite fun. It, this is a, it's just a unique way of looking at the game. I love it. Giant beanstalk garden. Oh, yeah. Did I see that Candy needed a quest? Oh, yeah, and Singapore. Oh, lovely. You know what? Okay, send some trade routes back to my capital. Let's get this done. There we go. Candy, trade route. I've got suzerainship over them again. I love it. This is just, it's my favorite bit. Bowser arriving to tell me off because he hates seeing worms like me being happy and then pulls a face. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming back to play Bowser. I have to. It's just an essential thing. Public works. That is back. Public and legacy is doing nice. I basically need to do anything now that gets me my unique person. I'm going to get invention. I shall get that quickly. But here we go. We can get 
The Royal Gardener now. To me, it looks like a one-tile national park, but I'm not entirely sure about it at the moment. 300 production. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, so they're expensive. 1,200 gold or 600 faith. Okay, the 600 faith reminds me of the faith cost for a normal naturalist. So I think that's probably what's been done there. Okay, so they're not as cheap as I kind of hoped they might be. Well, let's stick to the top of the civic tree and unlock water parks and zoos. That'll just cement me becoming ecstatic and I can start to settle a little bit more. <laughs> My days are numbered, says Bowser. Oh no, he's coming to get me. What's Bowser been doing? Oh, just making cities around in Gazagamu that seem very, very similarly colored. Peach has him a coat. That could be why she keeps stealing off city-states. Never mind. Right. Where are these things? What are they called? Lava fortresses. Now these actually go off like volcanoes, I think. I need to have a look at how it works, but it looks like a real really really cool little improvement. Peach gets a unique national wonder called the Peach's Castle. Don't think she's built it yet as far as I can tell. It looks pretty cool. She can also do this thing where you use artworks to teleport around the map. That sounds really cool. Guess it's like the paintings from Mario 64. <laughs> That's probably what the inspiration was there. It's, it's, yeah, very unique ideas. Lots of stuff I definitely haven't seen implemented before in the game. Oh my lord, what was that noise? <laughs> that, oh, that was an apostle toad. Of course it was. Don't ask these questions. Y you will see nothing but madness in the answer. Right, Imhotep. Let's pick up Imhotep quickly. And a Seador is a very good idea as well. How many classical era wonders are left? Colossus is left. Ooh. Well, I do like Colossus. Good thing about Colossus is it gives you another trade route, so I might just go and uh, build that one immediately. Jebel Barkal. Oh, also a good wonder. Let me just check what the range on that one is. Six tiles for the faith. Okay, so we could do another Colosseum-esque thing here. That one will only get plus uh, five cities, but it is next to a theater square. So I like the sound of that. World Congress time. I actually have all my favor because nobody has any money to give me anything. So it's a bit unfortunate. I'd like double, ooh, engineer points because I'm generating a lot of those now. And trade routes to religious city-states work for me. But yeah, we'll put all our votes in on double engineers. We'll see if that goes through. It certainly did not. No admiral. Ah, yes. Absolutely what what I intended to go through there. Never mind. All right. Yep. Let's get this engineer. That's the last one I'm going to faith by, I believe. We're now going to start using my faith on my unique unit. Been putting it off for long enough. Looking forward to it now. Rushing through Colossus. Amazing stuff. Colossus gives me a trade route, a little bit of extra gold. I think it gives a merchant point as well. The trade route is the most important thing. Not just for city-states, but if you want to get a tourism victory, of course you need to send people your trade routes to get your tourism and modifiers with them. After all, who will they know? Like, how will they know who you are if you refuse to trade with them? It's just, it's just, this, it's the done thing. As the era runs out, I'm just making sure that any city that could have a beanstalk has one. Because if it doesn't, it won't grow when the era runs out. It's, it's, a, it's a very weird mechanic. It's quite good though, so I'm having to rush that preserve through to make sure it does. Gory needs one as well. Okay, right, we'll get, I'm actually gonna chop down a forest in order to make this work, but I think it should work nicely. So 900 faith. We're gonna have a quick go at making our unique district or improvement, I should say. It seems to work better on the higher appeal tiles. So I'm gonna take this lovely plus nine to start with, and we're gonna experiment and see if this counts as an improved tile or whether it counts more as a national park. Cause you can put national parks next to preserves and it retains the growth bonus. So I'm hoping it's gonna to be a very similar thing. Oh yes, the Royal Gardener. Just looks like it's a, a regular naturalist. Most importantly, does the cost of it go up? Ah, alas, it does go up. Okay, so they are very much like national parks. Definitely cool to know though. Definitely cool to know. Great Lighthouse. Another bit of era score. Not that I need era score particularly, but plus one movement for naval units. Not that I really need movement for naval units. Is there any reason to build it? Um, I like the tourism. Plus it's a shiny thing and who doesn't like shiny things? There we go. This preserve has been rushed. Anyone want to trade me any gold? Anyone have any gold? No one really does. Yeah, there you go. Portugal gave me a little bit. And a beanstalk. Yay. Oh, that's so good. Does help that as an ecstatic city, this city is getting plus two appeal to all tiles. 
very handy. Okay, let's test it out. So, the flower sanctuary. It should give me tourism equal to the tile's appeal. That's good. And then gold equal to half the appeal on the tile. So it'll go up by two. So that should give me a five gold improvement. Oh yes, the flower sanctuary is there. Oh, you know what? That's really pretty. The detail of this mod is outstanding. So we'll see if the appeal increases. Does it spread the appeal to the surrounding tiles? That's something I'm not sure of. But the tourism definitely is welcome. We're going to start building this up now. Two separate rushes here. One rush and then two rushes. Oh, kill worth three turns. Kill worth is always welcome on any game. Give me a beanstalk. Let's see how that's changed the appeal. It doesn't look like it's actually increased the appeal of that tile. Maybe the appeal itself isn't working. You know, sometimes you have to forgive a mod. Not all the time does everything work oh no hang on ah okay right just like a lot of other, I, I was i was taking it literally but it's very it's like other improvements a plus two appeal works to adjacent tiles but not the tile itself gotcha that's fine oh we don't mind that at all okay perfect well we'll just continue to make these then i mean this seems like a brilliant area to start so we'll just start improving it all around here no amenities from national parks but i guess we have ways of getting them outside of that with fun loving so, you know, can't complain. I can't actually, you know, I say that. I can complain. <laughs> Very good at doing that. I shouldn't complain. Zoos, aquariums, water parks, all the fun things. Sounds ridiculous, but I can actually remove woods around the preserves because they get rebuilt. So it actually makes sense to chop them down before they pop up. It, it doesn't feel like that's a very sensible tactic, but I, you know what? I really think it is. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Rom88, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Esri Dax, Debel Time, Shoelace, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Clint Tennis, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixamatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye!